I'm Chuck Dunlap with Solstice Cycles, located in Manitou Springs, Colorado. This is an aggressive all-mountain design based on the philosophy of improved big mountain riding, uh, certain rate characteristics and pedaling characteristics make, make this design good for climbing, descending, up, down, sideways. Uh, having designed uh, high-end bicycles and components in the bicycle industry for over 10 years, I really saw a need for a new susp suspension design, a lower center of gravity design, and what I came up with was the inverted uh, four-bar design. It's a patented design, and when you look at it here, the way the suspension works is we've got our four bars, we've got our lower link, our seat stay, and our chainstay with the wheel on the floating, the floating, uh, the, the floating swing arm. The shock is mounted in between the swing arms, and the linkages are arranged to give you a rate that's supple off the top, linear and predictable in the mid range, and progressive at the end of the stroke. And what, and, and the way the suspension accomplishes that is. It's got a, a, a high starting leverage ratio, so that overcomes the friction, the initial pressure in the air shock. It transitions to a more linear range, and that gives that, that linear range in the mid-stroke makes the suspension more lively, gives you a little, more, a little bit more to push off of when you're riding, poppy. And then towards the end of the stroke, you get the ramp up of the air shock, which soaks up the big hits, hard impacts, uh, the occasional big drop. Now this design in this model is optimized for really big mountain riding. It has an aggressive uh, stance, 67 degree head angle, anywhere from 13 and a half to 14, in, 14 inch bottom bracket, adjustable by the lower link, runs a through axle in the rear for stiffness, and low standover on the top tube, and tapered steer fork connection. I just wanted to explain in a little more detail about the inverted four bar design on the Solstice. What we have here is this bomber modular uh, rear swing arm. These are cold forged aluminum 60, 61 components. They're all individual pieces bolted together, tied together with the floating rear air shock. Then we've got a lower link here that connects to the frame. If you look on the frame, in this area, we've got two pivot locations tied in off the frame, off one component for maximum stiffness. Now, the way this linkage is arranged is to give you no pedal feedback and eliminate brake jack by the wheel being on the floating link. The wheel follows an instant center about some, some virtual pivot point in an area you can project between these two swing arm parts, somewhere in this area. As the suspension actuates, the links swing and that instant center moves forward. So that's known as a forward migrating instant pivot design. In addition to that, we have the shock, as mentioned, the shock attached to the swing arms and they're attached in a way that give us a rate that's supple off the top with a high leverage ratio and then that leverage ratio levels out to a flat rate through the mid-stroke 
and then the air shock gives you the progression at the end of the stroke. So what you get is uh, small, real good small bump compliance at speed with that initial starting rate, a real predict, predictable and lively uh, middle rate, linear type of uh, suspension rate, and then progressive at the end of the stroke for big hit. Now the way all these parts go together is we've got cartridge bearings at this pivot point, this pivot point, and in the frame. In the lower link at the other end we've got uh, sealed needle bearings and all that gives you the f gives you gives you frictionless uh, suspension movement for to help in that suppleness that top end suppleness. At the back end we've got a 12 millimeter through axle. That 12 millimeter through axle also adds to the stiffness of the entire system keeps everything straight and running true. The other thing about this design in general, just taking a step back, is you can see how low the suspension chassis is. It's down low, it's a low center of gravity, and that really makes the bike handle well. Handle well on the downhill, not only on the downhill, but in the climbs. The bike has low swing weight, the center of gravity is low, it can corner, it can flip directions uh, as quickly as needed. So that's kind of a, a brief explanation of how this suspension design works. This is the inverted four bar design.